Hello YouTube, Steve Truck here. So I was playing around with, with your settings. Realised I didn't have Pro Tune on, so hopefully this might make my videos look a little bit better. We'll stick those lights on as well. I've literally just got up, well not literally, I've been used facilities here at Yeovil Services. One the way back up to Shipton Mallet. I'm just going to make myself a quick brew, hopefully, or quickish. We'll see what a quick brew is in this world, but... So, hopefully you can bear with me. Gives you a bit of cab life as well. I'm planning to do some cooking videos in the future, maybe. Well, not cooking, microwaving videos. But I might do that as like a live stream sort of format. But we'll see. Well, I sort of crash around my own cab. It's angry, so a bit more looking over in my direction. Hit her. I hate being a clean freak sometimes. <laughs> Pointing out my seat, get dirt, laces. This is where I spent yesterday gutting the cab. There's actually one place I have not been yet. That's, it's kind of a job I'm putting off, but I need to do it. Is to go underneath the bed in that bottom right compartment. It's not gipping in there, it just needs sorting out. You know, it's. I just haven't got to it yet. And I'll do that next week, hopefully, if I get time. You never know, I might do it today. We'll see. Might well, make sense to do it today, but we'll see. So, how is everybody? Hopefully, everybody's okay who sees this. This will be another daily vlog today. I don't have much. Well, I do have a spare memory card for the camera, so it's not too much of a drama. But I am a bit low on space. I've realised, hopefully you can see me up here. I do apologise if I'm <laughs> a bit of out of shot times. But I am seriously, you know, trying to make the boo and get cut on. So I've had a little bit of a lay in this morning. My discretion, I just chose to. I was just like... Oh. I wasn't in the mood to get this morning. I was so comfortable, I was like... With a nine hour break as well. So basically I'm doing around about a nine and a half hour break. So I haven't stepped in massively. It's just a bit of a lay-in. And there's no pressure because the customer will probably be tight with product again or we'll just have enough product when we get there. So it won't be a drama. And it's foot down Monday for me today. Not literally. As I do think it's slightly wrong to say foot down because it sort of implies that you're going to be just speeding everywhere all day long. Which implies you, at some point you will be breaking the law. <laughs> I, I get the idea foot down Friday but I'm sure it influences some people to go yeehaw! <laughs> I can go fast than you. Well, the kettles this stuff it is awesome. I, I, I do enjoy using this kettle. It's a good design of Scania. I mean, yes, open it in next gen. They do have options to stick it back up in the next gen, and I hope if I do have one in the next gen, I will ask the boss, can I have a kettle system in next gen? Hopefully, they won't stick it on the dash. It's not me in the world if it's on the dash, but I prefer if it's in its own compartment. You can keep it nice and tidy. All the brew kit can live up in there. And jobs are good at. I'm not going to take you through the full first blade. I'll probably skip over that. I've done the first blade check video anyway, so... Hopefully... clean the fridge today before I go home. Nice hot, hot cup of brew. The good one. And give it a quick old stir and we'll open up that cupboard. Oh yeah, when you, before we do that, I've used up my kitchen wall yesterday, luckily I carry spare. So it's not the end of the world. 
Yes, I know it's Waitrose and there's other supermarkets available and all that spill. But hey, it's kitchen wall. There's the job. Doesn't mean I'm posh because I've been to Waitrose. <laughs> or maybe does it? <laughs> yeah. Well, hygienic people wipe this every so often as well. Did it last time, so I'm not worried about that. No. Leave that out for a second. Put that in. Yes, yeah, basic cab life in the morning. Get up, make a boo, maybe listen to the radio, but I'm not going to do that because I, I don't know how the copyright thing on YouTube will hack that. <laughs> and we'll just disperse. Where are the keys? Yeah, that's the moment I go, Ah, where's my keys? Probably in my jacket pocket when they got in the truck. Yes, they are. <laughs> can be a Muppet now and again. I can be a Muppet when I want to be a Muppet. There we go, we've got the keys. And that's the store about, you know, when you go away from the truck, lock the truck, etc, etc. Do you like my new key ring? I know it's sad. I know I know I've gone full scan you. And somebody's gonna say you don't go full scan you. <laughs> Do the trucker thing? No one's walking there, did check. Don't worry. Before somebody says, oh you should have looked to make sure you're not pouring any of that out on anybody. Yes I did. Up, it's all good, it's all done. That's done. We'll close the window from over here. Demonstrating I don't have control of that from over here. Grab my cleaning, a bit of pink, a bit of pink, a bit of pink. Yeah, and I cleaned out this entire section yesterday as well. You do need to keep on top of this section, I find. Because obviously making brews, you know, your sugar, if you have sugar, and other products you may use as well, can get into the nooks and crannies. That goes back on there, my nice Scania V8, oh, sorry, 580, I should know that, I should know that. Oh, hand the truck back over. Not <laughs> And I'll just give the cab a bit of a one, two, freshen up in the morning. Motivates me for the day if it smells nice and clean. Nice and fresh. And we'll get clocked on. So, zero six. 30 or thereabouts. I must admit, I am a clean freak at times, <laughs> and even I admit that. <laughs> Confirm, ready to drive. Well, we're not literally ready to drive, I still need to do a vehicle check. Which I will do in one second, or oh, a few. So uh, this ain't a promotional video for Pink, by the way, or Chrome Products, who produce them, but they do make some really good cleaning products. So if you haven't already, check them out. They might not be the cheapest, but as I say, if you want the best, you might sometimes have to pay a little bit of money <laughs> to have the best. And, and, and it is true, not all the best stuff is expensive stuff. I don't just use chrome products, I do like to use some other products on the outside of the truck. Even though I'm going to experiment with a little bit of chrome stuff on the, on the outside. But, I really like all the things I use on the outside. 
but I'll do a video about cleaning and all that in the future. I know I haven't done a huge amount this week, so I do apologise. I will catch you probably in a few seconds <laughs> in your time or once I finish the spiel. Probably, where should we, what should we do? I might vlog a little bit on the way up, maybe. We'll see. But hopefully this has been reasonably entertaining to start off the vlog. A bit different, I know. So we'll start off with this as like a full picture thing. Then we go and do the, I'll turn the front camera ready on. So it's ready to rock and rumble. That reminds me, I need to get some paper work out. Morning stuff, especially on a fresh week. From Monday, the 18th or 19th? 18th. Need to know that anyway. Because I need to fill this out as accurately as normal. Not that I don't ever do it inaccurately. <laughs> so, do the 18th of the 3rd, 19th. My name. Big tip is if you're filling in paperwork, especially a log of your day, don't, a lot of drivers do this, that they'll leave it for a couple of days. But the issue is if you leave it for a couple of days, it means there's a lot of work Sunday to do. I know the feeling, like, oh, what did I do yesterday? At? You might remember a lot of it, but there is a chance you're gonna be going, you're gonna miss something. You forget a fuel figure or something like that, or even if you kept all your fuel receipts, there's a chance you could have forgotten it. If you lost all those receipts, you're knackered. Not knackered, but it doesn't look good on you. So my biggest advice is just fill out your paperwork as soon as you can fill out your paperwork. So keep it up to date as best you can during the day. I don't mean literally spend all day going one second, two second on your timesheet, no. But, you know, at the end of each day, I will update the day with its times. I will join the day when I fuel up. Straight away, as I fuel up, fuel on. And blue on and the expenses on. It reduces your workload, really. Honestly, it does. It, I used to do that thing, you leave it for a day or two and... No, it, it just got, you know... It created more stress than it was worth <laughs> doing. I mean, it might suit some people, but my biggest advice would be just to keep an updated log. I mean, we all have bad habits, and we all say cut corners, but, you know. But where possible, try and keep up the, on top of yourself on the admin front, because it will come back and bite you one day, and it'll be on the day that you do not need it biting you. So I'll catch you in a few seconds. Hope you enjoyed. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back. We've eventually loaded. It's now... 11.30, we got there around about, what, 7.30? So yeah, quite many hours later. So I do apologise, there's not going to be a huge amount we're doing today. We're going to go and deliver this down at Amesbury. Load of yoghurt we got, and then we're going to go up to Swindon, I believe. Because my truck's got the engine warning lights on, she's living up to her name. Yeah, but I have some pretty exciting news. I just need to book it and we'll do the final bits of booking. And it's all done and dusted, which I'll do today. But I'll announce it though now. If not, oh well. <laughs> if, it, if I'll probably end up booking it now and no. <laughs> it goes, no, fully booked, fully booked. Is we are, or oh, I'm going, to go to uh, Truck Fest, Shipton Mallet, or Southwest. We 
between the 30th of August and the 1st of September. I'll be there the day before though, because the boss has said I, I'll book you off the day before, so you can get the truck all shiny, so I need to, so I say I'm going to do that, because I can't get the truck home, but maybe if I can go to the boss's house with it, give it a good shiny up there. There might be some other options. We'll see. So that's. I'm pretty amazed and I'm blown away. And I will do another video about it, but you know, at the same time, I, you know, I would like to say a massive thank you to uh, to everybody at Hewix who's allowed me. Or you know, I'm not going to say the person's name because, <laughs> but they know who they are. So at the end of the day, for Hewix allowing me to go. Because at the end of the day, this is the vehicle, at the end of the day, and it would be the vehicle off the road for three days, effectively. Well, not off the road, but, you know, preoccupied with something that is not earning dosh. And also he said he'll give me a holiday pay for the thing as well, so happy days. At least I'm going to get some money for it. <laughs> but I suppose it was the thing I was sort of debating about, you know, the ethics of you know, do you accept absolute zero pay because you're technically promoting the company and a lot of hard work goes into it as well. So it's going to be a lot of polishing. A lot of polishing. Yeah. As I said, I'm going to have to go buy some polish this weekend. Sorry for looking like a hippie as well. I've forgotten my razor this week. So I've gone full hippie. You don't go full hippie. Well, you don't go full Scania. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm sort of excited about tr going to Truck Fest because it's one of my biggest ambitions, trucking wise, is to take a truck to a truck show. I don't really care about winning anything. It'd be nice to, but I don't see it happening. You never know. I, I could surprise myself, but you know the numbers of trucks there. I went there as a uh, as a spectator last year you know yes I think they do examine your truck slightly separately to the actual show trucks because that in my eyes would be very unfair if you're steeped up against show trucks because their pure purpose is shows you know I'm not saying no show truck doesn't work yeah I'm pretty certain some show trucks do work but Overall, you'll be up against like competition that keeps the truck in in a uh, garage, effectively. But yeah, it will be what it is. I'll, I'll be going there just for the pure enjoyment of it. I'll do my best, get the truck in its best possible possible sort of uh, look, polish, cleanliness. And talking about cleanliness, well, I was getting loaded, I've done a massive spring clean of the cab. I have gutted the cab. Well, I've done it the other day as well, to be honest, as well. So, but today I went underneath the bunk, I think I mentioned this at the start of the video, and cleaned out that little cupboard area that I've been meaning to do for a long time. I just need to go in there now and remove the matting out of it, to clean the matting, but that's a job for another day. I did polish up underneath most of the areas underneath there, so it's pretty clean. It's just inside that compartment needs a bit more TLC, as I say. That's the only area within the cab, or main area within the cab, that I haven't really ever touched till today. I've, I've been meaning to, I just haven't got around to it. It's, just, it's also because it's just nightmare to get to <laughs> so I just put it off I'm like nope I will rather polish the, the rest of the cab than go in there but it needed to be done it's quite as far as what I found in there I found a light bar in there uh, a bit like what I have in the front Scania light bar thing obviously Scania and the Griffins on it small one so I don't know if I'll use it it works or I might save that as a channel prize or giveaway. It's not immaculate, but it's good. It's good enough. But that might be 
be an option to it. After because that's off, I think, previous table. driver who's left the company, so if it's been left in there, you obviously don't care about it. No rather give it to somebody who wants to have it. I don't see why I should profit off it. Because it's not really mine to profit on. It's not, well, you could argue it's mine now, but. <laughs> But yeah, so that might, I'll have to see what I'll have with the boss about it first. But he did say if you do find anything in the truck, it's yours. So, <laughs> I might take that as what he said, so. Yeah, it should fit through. It's a bit interesting as mood works here. So it seems he's doing a lot of work in this village, probably prepping it for summer. Yeah, so there's going to be a lot of stuff to be done on the truck. I probably will involve some videos in it as well. Like, you know, following my story on polishing. I hope admit I may not, I'm not the best polisher in the world, by no means the imagination. I'm going to be limited on my facilities of polishing, so yes, the easy option would be to get a power polishing, yeah, one of those disc things, and do it that way. But you need a power source and a place to do it. You know, I suppose you pick a cheap one up, but at the same time, as where can I, without getting a generator or getting it to somewhere where there's some power? Yes, I could get an inverter one off the truck. That could be another solution. But I don't think my inverter would be good enough. I think it would have to be quite high powered, I reckon. So yeah, so there's a massive thing to look forward to and I'll keep you informed. Another thing I've been thinking about doing, aside from that, is ordering myself some stickers for promotion. Primarily for myself, but I might, you know, I was looking at doing custom stickers and look at companies, and it works out better if you get like packs of a hundred or so. So that would, I suppose, yeah, I could leave something like that for Truck Fest, you know, to hand out some wind car window stickers. But what, what would your thought be on it? You know that a good idea because it will go in line with promoting the channel but I also want to get one to put in my truck to sort of say yes I do vlog you know but not to have it massive and you know boasting massively going I'm a vlogger look out but if somebody's looking around he's likes to get trucks and goes oh he's a vlogger <laughs> what's his channel oh Steve-O Trucking all right I'll go and check that out <laughs> I say that, that's a big thing I'm trying to work on at the moment is looking at PR. I'm, I'm wondering about creating a channel advertisement and using Google Ads because I've got like an £80 credit thing with them. Just run a £80 credit thing through to try and promote the channel. So I'll have a see how I can do that. I suppose I could use the channel intro but put me explaining about the channel on top introducing it but what's your thoughts about that you know would that be a good idea because as I said I'm, I'm looking at the promotion of my channel at the moment and how to project it out to more people which you know I don't come from a promotion background and you know Doing a lot of research at the moment just to see how I can go about it and that involves improving the channel like tagging and descriptions and I suppose I need to do more hashtags maybe as well <laughs> and yep there probably will be a hashtag to uh, truck fest I'll do or ship to mallet at least I'm definitely going, but I'll confirm that, but it's pretty much rock solid I'm going at the moment. Because I looked literally yesterday and there was booking yesterday, so there must be book there has to be bookings today. Unless if a big operator's booked up literally the whole show now. 
knowing my luck, that's probably what would happen. But yeah, it, as you probably gather, I'm really excited about that. And blown away at the same time. You know, it's, there's been quite a few things happening recently, a bit like that. I suppose it's something that I asked the boss about, saying, you know, could I take her to Shipton Manor? Because it's our local show to where I'm based. It would make sense for me to go to that one specifically. I mean, there is others. I could go to all the, you know, ones that are more closer in time period. But I, I thought about it at the moment. I thought what's best is go to the one that's nearer, near to where I live. Because I mean, my first truck show, I'd rather be nearer, have time to prep the truck before. Because it's, I, 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 I'm, I'm not trying to underestimate the challenge what this is going to be for me. You know, bear in mind this is a working truck. It's as, as I stated, it's not a show truck. This truck gets knocks and bangs. It, you know, it gets really dirty. You know, no matter how much I keep on top of it, the cab, fair enough. The cab's the easy bit because I'm, I admit, I'm a clean freak. And the cab has to be, you know, if I'm waiting around, guess what I'm doing? I'm cleaning. <laughs> That's how sad I am. It'd be scary how much I spend on cleaning products. And if I actually order some new, not new, but some uh, replacement polish from outside the truck as well, as so I'm almost out. Because one well, of my bottles is split. So, as I did have a spare bottle, but oh well. That, say that was like 19 quid there, gone. <laughs> I spent 10 quid yesterday on two bottles of chrome. Or the other day, so that's what, 30 quid now for argument's sake. Now I bought some dusters, which is, so that's 33 pound already. <laughs> you know, you see, it's how quick over a month it could add up. You know, that's about average for me, I think. <sighs> yeah, you stop at the this awkward point around the corner. As I said, we're able to pull the trailer around them. I knew that would be okay. I'd done that people there before, but it's not ideal. Yeah, so hopefully that's positive. If anybody else is going planning to go to Shipton Mallet, post down below, say if you are not. You know, it'd be, I don't mind if no one does end up coming who sees the channel, you know, but, you know, I'll get a shout out so if somebody d does go, they know to look out for me. So it'll be open door, you know, say hot meet and greet and all that, as they would say on, on vlogging terms. Well, great thing to go to a truck show with one of my dream trucks. No, a Scania V8. You know, 5.8. Yes, I would love to have a 6.30. Don't get me wrong, I would love a 6.30 and an X-Gen. That would be my penultimate truck. It would be a 6.30 V8, Aussie V8, Scania Next Generation S-Line. Fully kitted out, obviously. The issue if you have a fully kitted out truck is all the chrome you've got to keep on top of. At least all I've got to worry about is a fuel tank, my uh, compressor unit, and a few other little things. So I'm also going to be doing a lot of research and polishing. Because <laughs> why well, you have to start early with polishing is so you can just build, as you may know, might be teaching you to suck eggs here, and I'm no expert with it. You really am no expert. I don't really want to go up around him here. Because somebody's committed down that narrow. It could be a bit knackered. Let's see if it's all clear. As I said, I think one of my prior videos, if I have, I may not release that one, but you know, never listen to cyclists. I'm not being nasty about cyclists, it's just if you make a mistake and you know it's a bad 
Okay, uh, thank you very much. That's nice of him. After 200 yards, turn left. And that's what I mean, you know, we get in contact with trees and stuff like that. <laughs> Truck does get a little bit Certainly. beat up, but it, it's it's a warrior. It's a beast. Even though she is a problem child, she is a beast. And I do try and look after. I try not to hit the trees where possible, but sometimes you have to. It's either a tree or a hard place. No more of a knock a branch over hitting a brick wall or a car or something else harder, or main trunk of a tree. <laughs> So I have to be very careful with with people because people may let you go but then they might just suddenly go nope our patience has run out and if they crash into you and you've gone out you could be technically liable unless you're able to prove which of all my cameras I probably would be able to but you know still not worth the grief A lot of people don't realise how heavy, because we are max gross weight now, we are literally 44 tonnes. We could be more bang on if you tried. <laughs> That's how maxed out we are at the moment. So she's a heavy old girl today. And I'll end this little bit of the vlog and do... I'll probably get tipped and I'll probably do an outro or... Or we'll see how things go. You know, I might do a quick little video on the way to Swindon, then maybe one on the way back. So hopefully it'll just be in and out of Scania. So I'm happy to wait around with reason. So we've got one more 15 that I can push. So I'm very excited about that news, obviously, you know. And uh, also I've asked my brother if he want, wants to come and he sounds like he, he would like to come as well. So I might drag my brother as support if he wants to come, obviously, still. And he's able to make it. I think it's always best to go to all those events actually with people you know as well. So you got support and you know an extra hand for uh, cleaning the beast. But as I said, it, it's such a pleasure to go and take a you know one more you know it's one of my dream trucks. This you know I'm driving, and I've always sort of stated this that this is all the reasons we I love my job. So I'm getting to drive one of my dream trucks. No matter how much she is a problem child, I still take care of her. I still feel a real... What's the word? Not just pleasure, but I feel honoured that I am able to drive such a truck every week. A lot of drivers will go for an entire career who are passionate about driving, but will never get to drive, say, a V8 or anything more powerful, maybe a 500 or so, you know. I'm not saying, you know, that's a bad thing, no, not really. Because at the end of the day, oh, come on baby, get into a gear. That was my mistake, that was. I accidentally flung her over a little bit too far into the, where the cooler gears was. That was my bad. But because she's so heavy, she will punish you. If you make a small mistake like that. No matter how much I love geared trucks, I do like more automatics. And that's one thing. The other bit of exciting news lately is that, you know, January next year, I will ha should have, should, this is transport and all. It probably won't follow through now. 
have a brand new next gen next year. Same size engine, 580 V8. After 700 yards, turn left. So, you know, I'm, I'll see how this truck fest goes, you know, and maybe I might do the same next year with hopefully my new truck. Which might be a better option to take. But I want to do it in this truck because, you know, <laughs> still one of my top list trucks. And hopefully next year I'll be in one of my dream trucks. I mean, this is a dream truck as well, don't get it wrong, you know. Turn left. But on my current lineup, the next gen is up there. I mean, because I've driven the next gen V8 and they are amazing. The driver's cab is amazing as well. I mean, it's like. You know, it, it almost knocks every other truck mate to one side with that cab. The dashboard alone is, you know, this is on the, pretty much one of the top spec models open bit, what we would have, because all our next gens have all the top end radio system and all that, all the toys. I'm not saying other trucks are rubbish, no, but, you know, I think every driver has a favourite truck, and it, you know, I've met drivers who love man trucks. I can see why people like mans. I've nothing against man really, but you know, they're not. You know, my top two mates are Volvo and Scania, and I'll, I think that won't alter unless if one of the other makes makes a drastic change or improvement beyond any argument. <laughs> they come out with a V12. <laughs> Be never late in a V12, but it doesn't ring like in a V8. <laughs> yeah, so I'll catch you a wee bit later because I don't have a huge amount of time left on my camera anyway, so I'll rather save that for the next bit. So I'll catch you in a little bit. Hello, YouTube. We have just tipped at the customer. out in this juncture it's not a bad one but if it's busy it can get exciting it's a bit exciting getting out of there took a bit longer than the fort but never mind no dramas I've booked the tickets for truck fest as well and shipped to mallet so that's on. all good we're all good to go I've even booked the trailer in <laughs> so we're gonna get the trailer judge which I think might be my Achilles heel but ah. But, I, I discussed this with my brother before I ordered the ticket, saying, look, you know, um, would it be better if I had the truck judged and would just park the trailer up in the trailer park there? Which, yeah, that'd be the easier option. That would be the, you know, the extreme easy option, which, fair, fair play, that might have been the better option all in all. But I thought, to promote the company as well, really, I need to take the truck show the trailer as well but it's going to need a lot of work the trailer I mean but I've got enough time to get it done I'm not going to add stuff onto it I suppose I could with the trailer because the trailer I'll probably be really ending up to keep for a few more years but the boss has really done a lot with it to be honest I only realised the other week where I picked it up but, we, but four days after picking her up that she actually had LED sight well, I did sort of realise but it didn't clock on fully that before I had normal bulb side marker lights on the trailer and now I have uh, LED yards, side marker lights and I'm speaking speak with, with our mechanic back in, in our main yard I think that once they get it sorted they might be looking at putting it as full LED the trailer but we'll have to see. But I think they have to, it's going to be a bit of faff, so I'm not sure if they are actually going to do it or not. Because they have to put a, uh, Cross the because it Second sends exit. off warning warnings on the truck. So it needs, I forgot what it is, put a uh, amplifier in or something, because the, the, because it uses so low voltage, apparently the truck might read that it isn't that side lights ain't working <laughs> but yeah all those fascinating things you pick up I 
had just some reason I distinctly a clock on that I had LED side lights. I knew before I had bulb ones. I was like looking at it going, I'm sure I had normal bulb side lights. I'm going, ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ding. <laughs> Light bulb. <laughs> funny moment, funny things happen. We all have mong moments. Yeah, so it's been a good, reasonable day. I mean, it could be more productive. We could be a bit more ahead of schedule. But the plan is, we're going to go to one of our customers who are near Swindon, or probably near, well, they're just outside Quicklade. Drop the trailer off, then get to Scania. So I think I may be dropping the, scan, dropping the truck off at the weekend, I would assume. Or for my weekend. So, oh well. Which means I need to prep the cab for cab lifting. Which actually is actually good news because then I can sort out more two more things. Wink wink, get the truck sorted. <laughs> now don't worry, I'm not trying to get prepped too early for truck fest. I mean, it, it, you know, if I clean it now, we'll need cleaning anyway before then anyway. So this is all part of my cleaning spree that I, am, I do fairly regularly. You know, so every other week I'll gut apart the truck. But there's certain areas I'm going into now that I haven't gone into yet. And I'm glad I have. We've got a few other areas that I want to do, but, uh, you know, all in good time. Which means when we do get to the final prep stages for Truck Fest, I should be totally on top of the truck. The trailer will be, well, not then, shouldn't be a work in progress. It should be just about sourced. The only issue, because the work we do, is there's not very many areas on the trailer that you can sort of massively free prep. Yeah, you can polish up one or two things. That truck was flying, or not truck, that bus was flying down the road then. He wasn't hanging about for no one. This one, I think, this one I find I'm using at bus is all allowed to go faster than we are because they, but they carry more people. Which means if they get in trouble, there's more people in trouble compared to a truck. I'm not saying a truck should go a lot faster, no, but fascinating fact that they can go almost as fast as cars down motorways. Yeah, they can do 70 down motorways. I think they are slightly more After restricted on the lower yards, speed limits, but, right on the roundabout. Third exit. but still, it is what it is at the end of the day. I can see why they've done it, but on the other hand, when we look at the safety side of things, you know, not the best of ideas. So what we'll do, we'll film past Stonehenge, just the Stonehenge Visitor Centre just in front of us for people to come look at the big stone circle. I've always thought, I wondered if they built that stone circle not to worship anything, but to sort of like say, well, if we put this big stone circle up, kind of forget about it. I wonder what people in the far future would think. <laughs> I know I'm completely wrong on that, but you know, I, I thought that. I wonder if it's like one big practical joke from our from our uh, generations ago. You know, our ancestors. As they would say. Just a thought, just a crazy thought. <laughs> Sorry, the only reason I have to say it against Stonehenge is because of 303, because people who slow down to look at it and take photos, believe it or not, and do all sorts. You, you know, you think you've seen it all down this road and you haven't. Every time I think, yeah, I've seen the worst of it, nope, you'll see something else next time. And hopefully you won't see anything today, but you never know. You never know. Go lift on the well, That's one of the reasons why they're spending millions to build this tunnel, hopefully, which I think is going ahead, which is good news. Because then people can't see it, but then they start staring at the tunnel. <laughs> they keep going that way, they're not indicating, so I'm... thinking about it, but 
no. He's chosen the better option. Or the more sensible option. So let's try and meet our speed. Do this. Just sit on the cruise control. Yeah, so I am really hyped about that. I'm hyped about potentially having a new truck next year as well. And there's a lot of things to look forward to now. And that was the big thing I was talk talking about to myself the other day was like, you know, we need I need to have an objective of the year with the truck. Which is always good to set. And I've never done a truck show before. I've been to one once before. I think I might have been to one when I was a kid, I can't remember. So I only class it as once before. best here just to leave a decent ba braking distance because you'll be surprised what people do down here. But there it is, there's the circle of people walking around the circle of stone. <laughs> Sorry, I, I shouldn't be laughing at it but <laughs> you might see it off to our left or not, I've no idea if you can make it out. But, you know, the reason why building these tunnels is because of the Muppets who slow down. If people did slow down and cause chaos down this stretch of road, they probably wouldn't be building that tunnel. And everybody can enjoy driving past Stonehenge without having an accident. <laughs> but now we're going to have to probably aim to go for the tunnel, which is always exciting. I think the tunnel's the better idea. It's going to be the more fun idea, and hopefully it's a dual carriage race. The A303 is a bit like what the well, what's well, the A66 is still like it. That you know it's dual carriage ray from bits of it, and then the other bits is just a single carriage ray like this. And we're about to go in, back into a dual carriage ray bit just on the top of this hill. So we're going to put a little bit of power on or I'll stop recording in a few minutes time because we are a bit low on the memory. Here to do any long moment. Long moment. Yeah, so we've got a lot to look forward to. You know, if you have any thoughts, any ideas, or anything like that, comment down below, either about Truck Fest or anything. You know, I've got some ideas what to do for Truck Fest. I have got the truck down as a judge truck as well. I thought I might as well, you know, even if we don't score highly. It's, it's best to be judged enough. I mean, I looked at the pricing. There was only one option to show the trailer off, and that was to get the trailer judged as well. So <laughs> I'll have to accept that one. Um, it wasn't like an option get your truck judged, but you can show your trailer. <laughs> I understand why. At the end day, my view is if you had cleaned the vehicle up, because you had option to not have it judged, but I thought, what's the point? It's the exact same price as having it judged. I don't think it really entails anything actual different, except for you paying a lot more effort in, but After even if, in my book, and this is in my book, it's not the rule of thumb, but in my book, if you're taking your truck to a truck show, it should be in your best order anyway you can get it to. Either way, so you should have done your best before even getting there. In theory. Cross the roundabout. I'm not saying they shouldn't have the option, but this is my logic and you know of why I've gone for judge. Because I thought, well, if judges are the same, I might as well get it judged. Because on the off chance I have done a good job on something and there's a category I could win in. So like best interior or best kept interior or something like that, that's something I think I could compete on pretty well. I bet I could be way overconfident on that, so I could be have a crap interior how I keep it, how clean I keep it, you know. <laughs> Who knows, sorry for, I think I saw there, never mind. <laughs> sorry, might need to remember to try and bleep that out if I do. We'll see. But yeah. 
but it means it gives me an opportunity to maybe try and win something but if I don't I don't you know it is what it is I'm going there to have a good time you know and that's what I said to my brother so look when we go there we're there to have a good time but expect the day before we'll be cleaning a lot and I'll be cleaning a lot before that as well because I said to my brother that on the Friday we are going to wash the truck polish it wash it some more and maybe polish it a load more get over to Shipton Mallet book in get him where we need to I don't know if we do the truck washing at Shipton Mallet as well we'll see but the main issue I need to, in the meanwhile to suss out is where am I going to get the truck cleaned because on the Friday I want to take it somewhere where I can spend the day to clean it like a jet wash facility and I've got to have room for the trailer now so I was originally just trucked in it there might be an option I can think of but I'm going to have to have a word I don't mind if I have to pay a little bit of money to do it to say that I'll give you a 50 quid if you allow me to use your jet wash for the day or your vehicle cleaning facilities I could pull over I don't know why he bought but whatever whatever at least he tried to be kind I couldn't the cars beside me yeah so I've got that headache to worry about now there'll be ways around it that we can do I mean worst case scenario you can take it to um, what you call services or up to Bristol to the truck wash there and get them to give it a good and we just need to polish it then but I would like to take it to a facility that you know I can spend a good most of the day, not the entire length of the day, but you know, good mention more hours to wash it because it does take time, believe it or not, to wash down a truck and trailer to show truck standard. Bear in mind, I'm going to have to take a few things off to do it, like the side panels, maybe even the trays on top of the back deck area, so I can wash in into where the uh, exhaust box on top, properly on top of the. Uh, fuel tank and I probably will take apart the fuel tank bit before that to polish that section that's good of him thank you very much Mr. Cement Mixer we'll get it in done right here so okay so what I'll do is I might do an outro when we get nearer to well, actually, I might film for a bit longer until we nearly run out on my uh, GoPro and do this as the outro because all that's going to happen, we're going to get down to Swindon, drop trailer at a customer, drive back around. I might even stop off at swim truck stop the fuel up then. I'll see how I feel. Or I might just fuel up at the garage just outside the customer it might be easier easier option of the two and then we we'll get a shifty on to Scania see what the score is there I reckon we're going to be picking the truck up on the Thursday is my sneaky suspicion I'll probably give the gaffer a quick bell just to confirm, I think that's a plan. I got a bit confused because it was sounding like I was going to get a load from the customer, so they were going to load it somehow. I don't think they could load me anyway, but <laughs> without me being on it to pump it on, I don't think they've got a pump to pump it across. Not that I recall, anyway. But I could be wrong, I could be wrong. I think I know where he wants me to put it on the site anyway. So we're going to shift on in there. That's a buff plan. Um, besides other than that, there's not much more news at the moment. I've got some stuff for the cab coming this week. It's not just the truck fest, before anybody says. It's saying I've always wanted to, want to get a light board for the back. I might get another light board, a more custom one in the future. Because, I'm, as I said, I'm looking at doing some labelling. And I want to sort out my uh, channel art in a way. And it might be something I do this weekend. I might have a toy around this weekend 
with it. After 800 yards, take the exit. Then, at the end of the road, turn left. To sort of a channel are primarily by my uh, small round, what you call it, avatar. Take the exit. Then, at the end of the road, turn left. Not my face, but you know, <laughs> my avatar primarily. Because then I could have my avatar as like my sort of signature identification mark, you know, logo in a way. At the end of the road, turn left. Well, here's I've got quite a few photos of the truck, and what I might do is try and just get a picture from the front, or a bit like what I've got at the moment. I'll have a look what I've got at the moment to see what I can do with it if I make it a bit more. So I don't know if I should make it more snappier or more more uh, eye catching, shall I say? He was flying along, but he's no longer now. Yeah, so so we got that to do because I want to make some stickers, as I said. Some, Probably some window stickers. Tell me what you think. Do you think that's a good idea? Because then when I get to Truck Fest, I, you know, if I have loads spare, then I can give them out. Maybe do something on the channel as well. Have a giveaway, or I can maybe have a basic shop or something set up that you can just pay the postage for it. Maybe a recovering fee of it or something. I'll see. I'll see what makes sense. But if I do do something that does have a little bit of profit off it, any money made. And this goes for any uh, thing in the future in general. The money will be recycled or reused, not from my pure profits, but it will go into the channel. So it will go in for new cameras, SD cards, basic maintenance of the channel, running a website, running any of the fees, editing software fees, you know, covering that sort of thing. And since I've upped the channel, I'm now having a bit more of a monthly fee to the channel. Because I'm subscribing, I've pretty much got the full package from Adobe, which is kind of handy. I've been playing with quite a few of the tools that I've got, it's amazing. And I think it's well worth it. You know, I'm always against it, but uh, I'll see what my limitations were before, and before actually, you know bit of investment into the channel might go a long way and I feel it has gone a long way and it will go a lot more further because it's still early days of me using this software and there's still a lot more experimenting to go you know and, and I mean falling back to the shop idea that falls back down onto the website as well and of course that might be a thing I might look at this weekend there's a lot of things you know need to look at. I want to make sure I don't go spending mad though at the same time so I'm going to try and look at the most cheapest ergonomical way of doing things. Yes I could have stayed on the cheaper or on the free video editing software which was good. Don't get me wrong it was really good and it is a real powerful sweet resolve but uh, you know same with CC Adobe CC is just yeah, it, it's clicking with me. There's still stuff I'm learning on it and still a bit mystified on it, but a lot of it's just clicking in line. I know, yes, it can be better with some of the videos. Some of the video, I know the audio doesn't meet up to the big video bit, you know, from the... But it's getting better. There's what you know, it's only a couple so far I think I've been a bit out on. There's always a risk of that when you're having multi-camera. Until you perfect how you do it and you know, I might need to do a bit more studying on that front to see if I make it a bit easier for myself. I know there's ways like when you start off recording to do a snap word, so you line the snap word up or movement to both cameras. Oh, weird, 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 weird. Uh, welcome to Tidworth used to be based here when I was in the army. It's changed a lot since though, this is all new. 
This used to be a swan straight mode. Didn't have this roundabout. <laughs> obviously. Or well, maybe not obviously. If you don't know the area. Yeah, so I'm excited. There's a lot in line. I mean, a lot of this might be reiterated in my channel up next channel update video, which yes, I'll mention Truck Fest again during that. I'll be probably mentioning a lot <laughs> between now and Truck Fest as well. I might do something on the channel. I'm not sponsored by Truck Fest or anything like that. I'm not doing anything with the vloggers on it, as far as I'm aware. You know, I'm just going there as a truck driver. But I'll also promote the channel if I can a little bit, you know, within reason. You know, I'm not going to go hopefully over the top of anything crazy. You know, the sticker I want to get, I want to put my side window. Because I've got my, I think my Help the Heroes sticker, or Veteran sticker, wherever it is up and then. I probably want to get a sticker. I don't want it too blatant, but to sort of highlight, I do vlogging. You know, so if people go, ah, oh, he's a vlogger. But we'll see, we'll see. But if you have a, if you know a company that does good badges, if you've got one that has like the window ones that like just you sort of peel back off and put back on that would be epic if i can get more of those sites i mean yes and this will fall on to you know what i talked about merch the other day i mean this is i keep saying it's going to be a long way off which it could be it could be years away before you can consider merch but it could be you know the first progression towards it but Realistically, if I can't get a store set, the badges will be reused. It might be just I'll give them out in Truck Fest or something like that. So I have a freebie that I can give out, <laughs> or limited number of freebie to give out. Once gone is gone. <laughs> yeah. Tell me what you think. Well, do you think like a sticker, or a car window sticker, be a good idea? Obviously keep it in line, so you know, say like truck fast Stevo trucking or something like that. Or just Stevo trucking with my truck in the background is an idea. Or Stevo trucking vlog. We have maybe the YouTube signal symbol one corner is another idea, which I think might be a better idea, if, certainly to promote myself to other people who might not know my channel. So they can go, oh, he's a, a vlogger. He's got a truck in the background, so he must be a truck vlogger. In theory, that, that's my thinking, anyway. There's lots that can be done. I'll have to look at what I'm capable of doing, or do I outreach logoing to somebody who's a bit more artistic than myself? We'll see. We'll see. So what we'll do, we'll film for a bit more longer and I'll do the outro in on to play through Tidruff. Slow the horsey down, slow her down, whoa! <laughs> anyway, we won't be going too fast there, we might have to jump a mile an hour. <laughs> So, as a bit of feedback, if it's saying you'd be interested to, you know, I know it'd be probably hard this far out to say, could you make it to come and see and, you know, truck fest, but if you know, you know, feedback's always positive. And I will do videos before then to remind you, I'll do a uh, advertisement on the channel that's on most of the videos or something. Yeah, we can keep the momentum through that one. Yes, we are good. We're good. So point we would have had to harshly break to get those After anyway. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout. First exit. So we're going to be getting there for about 10 to 4. So, yeah, so it would be about 4.30, about 5 o'clock, let's say, for argument. Scania probably... Probably at Scania a little bit before, so let's say 
quarter past five we will be all packed up ready to go home from from Scania hopefully as long as I'm quick and efficient Concentration wasn't on the road then, I don't think. Or maybe it was trying to be super efficient. Across the railroad, second exit. That was going over, we can go bumpity, bumpity, bumpity. Knocky, knocky, knocky. There we go, and those go went away. Fun and games going through Tidmouth. Always fun. Change the post office, limited it down to how it used to be. Come on. What was that car driver's attention span at Lloyd's is very, very limited, let's say. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, now she speeds up to stupidly fast, probably exceeding 30 miles an hour, which is the speed limit. After 800 yards, cross the roundabout. Okay. First exit. <laughs> Mental. Never mind. Oh, I'm not going to lose any sleep over that one. That's her headache. No, I don't get it. You know, somebody who's absolutely like a Muppet, who doesn't... I'm, I'm not expecting people to be uber quick to go, let's go, but it's like... You sat there going, I could have had a mental discussion debate with myself before. She even seemed to put it into gear to move off. <laughs> yeah, oh well, it is what it is. Muppets will be Muppets. Cross the roundabout, first exit. So yeah, so hopefully you've enjoyed today's vlog. I know it's not been a busy one or really exciting. Or, you know, wow, wowzers. Well, it's like some of the news I've said in it, which I, I said really will fit properly into the channel update video, but it was something to talk about. It's a bit of an average day really today. Well, it's a bit of a slow day. Not average, slow. So I was sat on it, the customer ship to Mallow, uh, you know, an hour and, or no more than an hour we're in there normally. But it's only if they've got enough product, which they didn't. Yeah, we had to get a full load, so we had to wait. I'm not complaining at all, seriously, I'm not. It is what it is at the end of the day. You know, stuff happens, and, you know, I get paid hourly. I'm all chill really, I'm, I'm happy, I believe it, oh, I'm probably truck happy, but <laughs> truck mad, trucking mad, trucking mad Steve-O, coming down the road. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I admit, I'm, I'm probably having a little bit mad, I admit, I think I've always been a bit mad in a way, a bit crazy, but hey. If you're not a bit mad or a bit crazy, you're going to be a bit boring, aren't you? Every, everybody's a bit mad in their own way. Crazy. But hopefully it's in a good way. Yeah, so hopefully you've enjoyed Ascent to the best as, as possible. Uh, if you haven't subscribed and, you know, you like the content or you want to see more from the channel, please hit the big red subscribe button or the red subscribe button in the bottom white oh, whichever way the camera is <laughs> I'm not used to that yet probably down there I reckon <laughs> and also if you want to be reminded when I post hit the bell icon and you'll be notified every time I post something and also go and check out my social media. I've also got Instagram, which I will need to update onto the channel. I don't know, I'm not overly social media savvy, so 
I need to get used to how Instagram works. I know it's more for photos, and that's one of the reasons why I've gone on it. Twitter is kind of my, not low quality, but you still get updated when I post a video on it. But Facebook is probably my main sort of to know. I'm, but one thing I've been experimenting this week is to I do it identical between Facebook and Twitter. That that's probably the best plan, I think. Because then it doesn't favour one network to the other. So if somebody prefers Twitter, they get more or less the same content. I've also started a group on Facebook as well. So if you want to join the group, feel welcome to join Steve O Trucking and Co. <laughs> I do not know what I'm going to do with the group, it might just become a discussion in the post feed, but we'll see. I need to learn a bit more about... I, I'm a member of Facebook's groups, but as I said, I'm not hyper social media savvy. I openly admit I'm pretty bad. I'm getting better, but I'm not the best. I know it's important, and that's why I'm working on it. <laughs> Far more happier running my chat channel. <laughs> but yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed. And to all those who have commented, subscribed, thank you very much, seriously. I would look, face you down in the camera, but I am, as you can see, out driving. Driving the beast. And yeah, so I think I've done everything. As I said, if you have any comments related to any of the subjects in the video or anything that's burning away at you to say within reason, comment down below and I'll try and answer it. Or if you have any ideas for the channel, programs, or you know, videos, shall I say, or anything, PR. You know, the PR is my biggest thing I need to work on at the moment. Because I don't feel like I'm getting the right traffic I should be getting for, you know, which makes me wonder am I doing something wrong on the channel or has my promotion side not. Well, I know it hasn't been the strongest, it's only recently I've built that side up. So that could be the reason. I'm hoping that I can see some issues. There is issues that are still there which I'm working on, and you may have seen changes. And there has been dramatic changes in other areas as well. So if you had a bit like uh, one of those uh, YouTube programs that can see what you've written down for your tagging, you can probably see on certainly all my new content, all very tagged up. Not always to the limit, but within reason, as much as I can put in. Within reason. I think really a lot of it's just getting the word out there. Hints why I'm considering stickers and all that. So yeah, before I mutter more and more on over and over again, I know that's another problem. I like to get over and over myself a wee bit, you know. Debate the point. Debating the point when it's already been made. Yeah, so as I said, comment down below. Any ideas, any suggestions, anything's welcome, as long as it's productive, I'm all cool. After 400 yards, cross the roundabout, first exit. And yeah, so hopefully you've enjoyed. I should have a bit of content to put up this week. Probably two vlogs and maybe one or two little programs. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so I'll probably see you in the next vlog or video. Don't know which yet. I'll probably. Oh, that reminds me. Cross the roundabout. First next week, exit. I will be re. I, I may be remaking next week, depend obviously on tempo. My truck tour video. Because of the changes, I hopefully will have. Hopefully, I've got all the things coming this week. And I'll have them ready for when I go to work on Thursday. So as long as I can get it installed and all that reasonably well, you know how it should be, there should be a new truck tour video coming. And I'll redo the outside and hopefully I can do a full walk around and 
talk about the truck a bit more so it might be a bit of a longer truck tour video but we'll see that's to look forward to so i'll catch you in the next one over and out